Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Church relationships, that's a whole nother dimension. And, and it, it is at times challenging. Years ago, a good friend of mine put together this little thing I carry around, this little mural, which illustrates. Oh, oh man. About to tear this thing in two here. I've just carried it everywhere. Used it. Now, I see that. Oh, man, I've never had help doing this, Paul. It's so very good. Thank you, Vanna. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not. No, it, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> now, this, this is just a little tiny sampling of life in a church. And there are, there, there should be more and more and more little, little children, older people, and you're taking pictures of this. Uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, notice it. Notice variety. See, see how different it is? This is? They're just full of variety. Some have a lot of hair. Some have no hair. Some are uh, men, some women. Uh, people of color. There are older and younger. Isn't that great? That's that's the church. It's a it's a great big family. Thank you, Paul. Can, Am I taking yeah, it? it's really it's kind of like folding up a world map, and it's uh, <laughs> never do it quite right. Uh, the, the, all of these people have their own opinions. They have their own hot buttons. They have their own agenda. Not they. We. We come to church from a background of great memories of church. And we talked about it as a group last night. Uh, we were talking about in, in former days how we'd sit in little folding chairs. Remember that? Always had little tiny bottoms on them. And, uh, and, and you sit there. And uh, We used to have an organist in a church that we attended named Mrs. Phelps. And my dad, uh, used to, she was... Uh, <laughs> Well, let me put it this way. My dad used to say, as he'd look at Mrs. Phelps play the organ, he said, there's a lot more of Mrs. Phelps than there is of organ stool. <laughs> Which always struck me as a nice way to put that. Uh, <laughs> there, um, you know, we come, we, we, uh, admittedly, some have been abused in churches. And you've come to the conclusion, no thanks. Been there, done that turned off and you've been taken advantage of unfortunately wasn't fair it wasn't right and you can't quite get past it so it's hard to for you even today to trust a pastor even though he may be a fine shepherd and a man of integrity you're, you're just barely able to get back into church life and my heart always goes out to people like that uh, Churches are sometimes made up of uh, disagreements, and, and there are always surprises. And, and there are occasionally funny people. There are just sometimes funny people. I remember sitting on a platform with Paul, and he and I were looking out over the congregation, and it happened to be one of those nights when most of the funny people had come. <laughs> and, I, and I just leaned over and said to Paul in an unguarded moment, you know, church people are kind of scary. <laughs> Without a hesitation, Paul looked at me and said, Chuck, church is scary. <laughs> and it is, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it a kind of a scary thing when you think about it? I mean... God loves variety. That's why he made all kinds of people with different interests and abilities. God has placed you in his family and given you a mixture of gifts that makes you unique. No one is exactly like you. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, New Hope at Your Church, was copyrighted in 2000 
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.